Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is time for my February favorites. February flew by faster than any month, I feel like. This was such a short month anyway. So we're back doing another favorites video and I have a lot of really fun things to share with you guys. I feel like I could have doubled the amount of products that I would have shared, but there's just a few things that I've like more recently fallen in love with or I haven't used enough to put in a favorites video. So I really condensed it to the things that like are guaranteed favorites right now. And then I'm probably gonna put the rest in next month's favorites if I keep using them the way that I currently Currently am. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. I do have mostly makeup, but then I have a fragrance to share with you guys that I discovered this month that I have not stopped wearing. So I'll share that at the end. Let's just start with makeup first. I'm gonna start off with some primers. So first off, I have been really, really loving this Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Priming Whip. I know I've had a couple of sponsored videos with Flower Beauty this month, but I wanted to make sure to put it in my favorites video because sponsorships aside, you guys, I always share products that I genuinely love. This is one of them. I have truly been enjoying this and I love the texture. If you haven't seen my videos where I've shown you this, I'll do a little preview. So it actually is like a whipped kind of marshmallowy texture. When you blend it out onto your skin, let me see if I can put this on the back of my hand so you can really tell. Um, it really blends in, it sinks in, and it feels very buttery, but my favorite thing about it is actually the finish that it gives. I think it looks gorgeous all over the complexion. So here it is on my skin. I don't know if this is picking up on camera the way I want it to. It gives a gorgeous luminosity that's not glittery in any way, which is beautiful. So. I wanted to share that with you guys in this favorites video because I truly have been loving it so much. By the way, you guys, thank you to everybody who's been so kind on my sponsored videos. I feel like this can happen in the beginning of the year. Like a lot of brands have a refresh in their budget. So you may see a lot more sponsored content, not just from me, but from you know everybody that you follow. And I appreciate you guys being so receptive and so supportive of me. So I wanted to make sure to say that to you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, the next product that I wanted to talk about is this right here. This is the Becca Light Shifter Dewing Tint. Now this is in the shade Luminary One. This is their latest launch and I tried it out this month. I love this as like a primer product. So they kind of marketed it as a tinted moisturizer. To me personally, it's a little bit too sheer to wear on its own. I have more acne prone skin, so I like to use it underneath my makeup. I am wearing it as a primer today. Um, let me blend it out on the back of my hand as well so you guys can see the finish of this. Um, this comes in several different shades, but it's definitely, definitely a very, very luminous kind of a base, which is why I love it actually, it's so pretty. So you'll see how pretty that makes the skin look. Again, it gives you that boost of luminosity without being sparkly. I would say that this one is more luminous than the Flower Beauty one. The formulas are not very comparable either. I think the um, Becca one is a little bit more on the emollient side where the Flower Beauty one is obviously more whipped. Um, but I really have been enjoying this underneath my foundation. And you guys, the other day I saw Becca posted on their Instagram that they are going to no longer be around after September of this year, which breaks my heart. I can't believe that. Um, what are we supposed to do without the under eye correctors and the highlighters and the primers and products like this? I don't really know what to think about it yet, but it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, definitely be sure to check this out sometime soon so that you can really enjoy it before it's possible possibly no longer available. So I wanted to feature this and I was gonna feature this anyway before finding out that news, but yeah, I've been really enjoying this product. So next up is a foundation and I actually worked on this brand with a post over on Instagram. And something you guys should know about me personally when I do sponsorships or take on a sponsorship, I take it very seriously and I test out the product. Even if I've used it before, I make sure to test out the product for as long as possible, preferably like two weeks up to two months for some products. So I started using this foundation again um, in preparation for a possible sponsorship on Instagram and I just genuinely fell so hard in love with this all over again. I used to wear this quite a bit and then I just started using other foundations and then I started using this again just to prep for that post and it's genuinely stuck in my routine so I'm sharing it with you guys here on my favorites video. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today and I'll tell you more about it in a second. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. This is not a brand new foundation. I think this came out maybe a couple of years ago. Um, 
But yeah, I started using it again. I have not put it down. And the thing I really, really like about this is I do feel like it gives a really nice amount of coverage. I personally need some sort of coverage, or at least I feel like I do. I have a lot of redness on the sides of my face. And so I want coverage, but I don't want it to be too heavy to achieve that. And I also these days have been really into more of a skin-like look where I don't really care as much if a blemish is showing through or something. And this has been really great for looks like that. I've also noticed that if I want a more full coverage base, but I'm gonna be wearing a mask, this has actually lasted really nicely underneath. The thing that I'll do with it is just focus it on the cheeks and I won't put too much on the nose because that's typically where a uh, foundation rubs off if I do wear a mask, but I found it to wear really nicely and I do feel like it has a good finish as well. So yeah, this video is not sponsored by the way, you guys. <laughs> I feel like I have to keep making the disclaimer because I have worked with them on Instagram about this foundation, but I genuinely really love it. And actually that's like one of the rule of thumbs for me, like when I take a sponsorship, I feel like if I wouldn't put it in a favorites video, I say no. And if I would, then I share it with you guys. So that's what happened with this foundation and I don't see myself putting it down anytime soon. I feel like this next product is not gonna be a shock to you guys. It's the Jones Road Face Pencils. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop wearing these. I can't stop talking about them. I just barely featured them in my no makeup makeup video. Um, it's the concealer that I have under the eyes today. I love these so much. So I personally picked up two shades. I got the shade one and two. I do use the shade two a little more because it's a little bit deeper and it has a little bit of a peachy undertone. So I find that it works well for not only my under eyes, but also to correct blemishes for you know, really quick makeup looks. This blends out best with my fingertips, but um, like I said in my no makeup makeup video, where I showed you guys how I applied these, I don't know how it happens, but you're able to get like really nice coverage underneath the eyes, but it's the most skin-like, natural looking concealer that I've ever used. And it's not natural because it's too sheer, if that makes sense. It does have a little bit of a sheer base to it, but somehow it still brightens the under eye area. Um, it's not a full, full coverage concealer, but I do feel like it does conceal as much as I personally want it to without looking like makeup at all, which I absolutely adore, so. I've really, really been enjoying these face pencils. They come in so many different shades as well, so. If you're looking for something like that, definitely check those out. I wanted to share a brush that I can't stop using. Now, obviously, these work best with finger, but if I'm using any of my other favorite liquid concealers, holy smokes, you guys, this really did live up to the hype for me. So this is the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. It's the shape for me, you know what I mean? So this is such a beautiful brush. So not only is the shape perfect for blending out the under eye concealer because you can really get into this inner corner here, it's got a really nice dense kind of rounded tip to it. So it buffs out so seamlessly to the point where I don't even need to use a sponge, I feel like, to blend out the rest. It really just buffs it out by itself. I don't know. You just have to try it for yourself to see. Rare Beauty did send this to me, but I feel like I would buy three more of these just to make sure I had it in my collection because they are that good and they really are so different than any other concealer brush that I've used in that way where it's the smoothest application with a brush that I've ever seen with a concealer brush. So loving this. So the next product that I have been absolutely obsessed with that I have not put down since I picked it up is this right here, the Eco Tools Biodegradable Sponge. How cool is that? And it works really wonderfully. I also really love the shape of it for under the eyes. I wanted to make sure to share that with you guys as well. I mean, you've seen me use that quite a bit. Moving on to blush. <laughs> This is not gonna be a shock to anybody. I bought this on a whim a couple of weeks ago and have not put it down. This has been the blush that I've been wearing every single day. This is from Stila. It's the Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. I purchased the shade Lilium. So like I said in the video that I tried this in initially, I've actually used this formula before, but it was a long, long time ago. This has been around for a long time. Um, and it was a different shade. And I ended up decluttering that shade because it was just so old. And then I started seeing everybody that I follow on Instagram. I should say every makeup artist, like celebrity makeup artist. I started seeing people use this over and over. And I was like, what the heck? I need to go reach for that again or buy it again to see what the hype is all about. Because I feel like back in the day, I wasn't really into cream blushes or didn't know how to use them the way I do now. So I bought this one and I understand what the hype is all about. I'm definitely going to expand my color range. It's one of the best formulas that I've ever tried. And I didn't own this shade before. I love this shade for every day because it's just a nice natural kind of a pink, barely there 
but still visible blush. It lasts all day. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte. It blends out perfectly over powders, over creams. I have nothing bad to say about this. I really love it. All right, next up, I was not expecting to love this as much as I have, and I wasn't expecting to use it as frequently as I have. It's this right here. It's the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. I have had my eye on this for so long. I finally caved and bought it this month. It seems like such a simple palette, and it is. It's a very easy palette to work with. I love it so much. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I've done so many different looks with these five shades. It's crazy. When I first tried it out, I'll try to find the video and have it linked down below. I did more of a smoky eye using these colors. I've done other looks where I just use this matte. I've done looks where I use this and then this and then put this shade on it. Like there's so many ways to make so many different looks with this palette. I am shocked. And I love the color scheme too. I feel like it's so flattering. So you guys can tell how much I've been dipping into it and I have not owned it for that long and it's great. I'm really happy that I picked this up. Um, the next thing is probably not a shock either. I'm wearing these individual lashes on my lashes today, just on the outer corner to kind of create that lifted look. Um, these are the Kiss Look So Natural Trio Lashes. Um, they do have two different sizes in here, so you get a short and medium, which I love, so that you can do shorter ones here and then bring the mediums out toward the outer corner to customize your shape. I learned about these from Kellyanne on Instagram. I'll have her Instagram page linked down below because I totally need to give her credit for me discovering these. Um, but I have been loving them so much. I love that they're trios because I used to use the individual lashes where it's like one by one. That looks really pretty, but it's not practical. And I would only use them on special occasions when I had the time to do it. I feel like I've been reaching for these more on a more everyday occasion if I want like a little bit more of an elevated look. And it takes me half the time as doing actual individual lashes. Really, really love these. I find them to look so natural and I love how wispy they are. I love how fluffy they look. So really enjoying those lashes. Okay. I was going to put these in my last favorites video, but they actually weren't available. Um, but I've been trying them out since last month and they're finally online. So I wanted to talk about them here. The Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Liners. Wow, wow, wow. So good. Their pink one, I couldn't find anywhere. I swear it's in the bottom of my purse somewhere because I've been wearing it so much. But you know how when like you don't need something, you see it everywhere. And as soon as you need it, it disappears. That's what happened to that lip liner shade. So I will have that link down below. I believe it's the shade Pink Sand, but the other shade that I really love from their four shades that they launched is Honey Rose. And I do have a little bit of this shade on just the outer corners of my lips really, really lightly. Maybe I'll add a little bit more for you. This formula is gorgeous. I love how it's also from Lawless, so it means there's clean ingredients in here. Plus the pink one and this one, these two colors are so flattering and I've been getting so much use out of them. As you can see, <laughs> I feel like it looks like I've owned this for such a long time, but it is pretty new to my collection. So these are gorgeous and they pair beautifully with the Forget the Filler gloss, which I mentioned in my last favorites video. They look amazing underneath that if you wanna just kind of add some definition along the lips or I've used them as like a full on lip color lining and filling in my lips with these. They're gorgeous. The next lip product that I am so in love with, oh my gosh, is this right here from Flower Beauty, the Color Shift Lip Smoothie. This is what I have all over the lips. Let me add a little bit more. I love the formula of this. It feels like a lip balm, but it has a really nice glossy finish. It looks a little scary in the tube. It just comes in one shade, but it will end up reacting with the pH of your own lips to create the most beautiful, custom, healthy pink looking shade. And it kind of stains the lips too, which I love. I'm gonna put on a little more so you can see what this looks like. So you apply it and then just give it a second. You can kind of see it changing color. Goodness gracious, this is so good. And it's such a wonderful throw on your lips, last minute product that I feel like really enhances your complexion. It just kind of gives a nice little healthy boost to the lips, but it's not sticky. It feels like a balm. You can basically apply this without a mirror. You're not gonna mess up. And it just looks so pretty. I love this one so much. I wanted to give a little shout out to the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like to do little shout outs sometimes when there's products that have come back into my routine that I have fallen in love with all over again. That is this for me. I have used this every single day. I don't know why I ever stopped using it. It's funny because I would use it every once in a while and then end up going back to my other setting spray that I was really loving. And then one time I just left this on my desk and it was like the only setting spray. So I started using it over and over and now I reach for this one the most. I love the mist on this. It's so easy to use. It smells amazing. 
So I wanted to give that a little shout out. I know it's been in previous favorites videos, but I'm in love with it all over again. All right, last but not least, folks, let's talk about the perfume that I have been absolutely loving. I'm so picky when it comes to fragrances, and I've been following this brand called Dead Cool on Instagram for a while, and I have been just keeping an eye on them. I've wanted to try their stuff, but because I'm so picky with fragrances, I just didn't really know which one to try, and at the time, I had also just bought another perfume, so I was enjoying that one. Um, but then they reached out to me and they wanted to send me some product and I was like so excited because, like I said, I've been following this brand and I have been wanting to try it. So the brand is dead cool. I ended up going on their site and taking their quiz, which I feel like was so accurate because I'm in love with these perfumes. So these are the two perfumes that were recommended to me um, that dead cool kindly sent. The first one being this right here called Madonna Lily. So a little backstory about me. I personally love a little bit more of a masculine edge to my fragrance. I still like it to be fresh, but I do like that kind of musky undertone like the Glossier U perfume. That's been like my all time favorite. This one is so good. I don't really know how to describe fragrances very well. Maybe I'll pull it up on the website so I can read the notes to you guys. Okay, so the top notes are sandalwood and black pepper, which I can totally tell. It kind of has a spiciness to it. I don't really know if that's a good word to describe a fragrance, but if you smell this, you'll know what I mean. Um, the middle notes are amber and exotic woods, and the bottom notes are moss and cardamom. So it's a very, very robust fragrance, but there still is a freshness to it and a little bit of a zest. I don't know. It's so good. I love this so much. The next fragrance that I got from them is this right here called Milk. It is so nice as well. I've got the notes pulled up on my phone. Um, the top notes of this is bergamot. The middle is white musk and the bottom is amber. So this one's a little bit more of a simple one. This is also meant to be layered under other perfumes or with other perfumes. So I do sometimes wear the two together, but I enjoy them both separately. I will say I do get more use out of the Madonna one right now, just because it's a little bit more of a fragrance. Like it's a little more complex, which I really like, but this one's amazing as well. My husband loves how both these smell on me. By the way, their brand is all unisex, so you're not gonna get anything too masculine or too feminine. They're all pretty much in the middle, which I really love about them. So yeah, I'm obsessed with those. And also you guys, let let me actually pull this up before I forget. They gave me a code if you guys want to use them. Let me make sure I've got this code right. So you can use the code ALLY15 for 15% off if you guys wanna try something from Dead Cool. That is an affiliate code, so you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but if you wanna save 15%, I highly recommend trying those out. And I feel like the quiz really worked for me, so if you don't know what to try, maybe try taking the quiz on their website and see if that fits your personal perfume taste. But I haven't been this excited about a fragrance in a very long time, so I had to share it with you guys. Um, that's it. Again, I feel like I could have shared a lot more, but those are my favorite favorites right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I would love to know what you're loving in the comments down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.